Hey, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up video. A while back, I did a video that showed you guys how to shoot real estate using nothing but your cell phone and a gimbal, much like this one here, this DJI Osmo Mobile 6. And what I wanted to do was, I wanted to show you guys how I edited that video because I had so many comments and people asking me how to edit these videos. So what I figured is I would jump into CapCut and I would show you guys how to edit an Instagram reel using the same techniques that I use in the video. So if you're interested in taking a look at that video, I will leave it linked in the description. But for now, why don't we just do a quick recap? So make sure that when you show up with your gimbal and your phone to the house and you're ready to shoot the home, that you have your phone on 4K 60 FPS. That's very important. If you shoot the property in less than 60 FPS, you won't be able to slow down the footage and bringing that footage down to about 50% slow motion is very important to get those buttery silky smooth shots that the professionals get another tip is you want to make sure that you turn on every light in the house it's very important to have the home well lit what i typically do is i'll open all the shades as well as turn on every single light in the house third you want to make sure that you turn on all the fireplaces and you let them run for a few seconds before you start shooting the house if you turn them on and start shooting right away if it's a gas fireplace a lot of times you'll notice it'll start to fog up the glass will fog up and those won't look very good in your shot and for any further information about how to use the gimbal uh, make sure that you check out that other video i will leave it in the description but for now let's jump into cap cut and i'm going to show you guys how to edit this video all right guys so we are in the cap cut desktop app this is a completely free software and it has a ton ton of features inside of here for free there is a uh, paid version of the app i've never actually even tried the pro version of the app i only use the free version but there's so much in here that uh, i don't even see a reason to to download the the pro version at this point now that we're in the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to import our footage this uh desktop application is set up much like many other editing softwares you have these little boxes so you have your boxes to import in the upper left and you have your timeline here at the bottom. So the way that we can import is we can either go in here and select the plus sign, and that's gonna allow us to uh, search our folders and import what we want, or we could just easily drag and drop the footage over into CapCut, like so. Now we have our footage inside of CapCut, and the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna find our in and out points on every clip. So the reason why we do this is because we don't wanna put all this footage down on the timeline, because maybe uh, we took several shots of the same room or maybe we stopped and had a conversation with someone and we left the camera rolling either way we don't want to have to go through and cut all that footage so what we do is we find our in and out points so we find basically the first point that we would ever use the clip and then i like to find the last point that i would ever use each clip and figure that out before i drop it onto the timeline so the way that you do this is you can kind of scrub the clip here just by putting your cursor over the clip you can do this two ways actually. You can either select I, eyes for your in point. And then when you get to your out point or the point where you want the clip to end, you can select O. And as you can see, that made this nice blue rectangle on the clip. And now when I bring this down to the timeline, it's only gonna bring in the part that I selected. Second way you can do this guys, is you can actually toggle these little handles here, left and right and you can decide where your in and out point is. Doesn't matter how you do it, it's completely up to personal preference, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through all the clips and I'm gonna find my in and out point before I drop them on the timeline. All right, so I have all of the footage uh, put into my timeline. I've chosen my in and out points. I should also mention that when I'm shooting real estate, I'm always using the widest angle lens possible on my phone, as you can see here by looking at this footage in this vaulted ceiling. Another life hack that I always do is I always make sure that if I shoot something and I'm not 100% happy with it, I make sure that I shoot it again. And that way mentally, I know that the last take is always gonna be the best take. So when I'm going through and looking for my in and out points, it's really easy for me to identify, oh, if I shot it again, I probably didn't like the last take. And so it's easy for me to select that in and out point on my last take. Now that I have the footage in here, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the clips I'm doing that, I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go down to separate audio. I'm doing that because I want the audio track to drop down here to its own track so I can delete it. Do not need the audio that's in my clips of each room, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Next, I'm gonna go through and make sure that my introduction clip here is perfect. This is kinda of like the foundation of the video. 
Um, the rest of the clips, you know, I'll have to do some uh, fine tuning here in a little bit and I'll show you that. But right now I just want to make sure that this one here is exactly where I want it. Are you interested in owning a home built by one of our okay, that's some, That's pretty good. I had to add a little bit more here at the beginning because I had actually cut it a little bit too late. But this clip is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the music onto the timeline. The good thing about CapCut is that when you go to the upper left here under audio, you have all the trending audio from TikTok. And we all know that anything that's trending on TikTok today is going to be trending on Instagram Reels in like two weeks. So this is awesome that you have access to all this trending audio. That way you don't have to try to do like a screen capture or something like that to get it into an editing software from TikTok or Instagram or wherever you plan to post this. Um, for the purposes of this video, because I do not want to get a copyright strike, I actually already imported a song from Epidemic Sound. This is a royalty free song, so I can show you guys how to edit this and show you how to sync it to the beat without getting that copyright strike. So let me go ahead and drag this down onto the timeline. Story in suburb. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out where the beat drops. That's where I want the camera to zoom into the house. So I'm gonna figure out where the beat drops and I'm gonna make sure that I put that point right here between this last clip of me talking and that first clip of the house. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I figured out where the beat drops. dropped right there so that's the point that I'm going to cut it and I'm going to make sure that that point is right where we're going to go from me talking to the interior of the house the way that I'm going to figure out how to cut it is I'm going to zoom just like a pinch to zoom so I can see the waveform and that way I can kind of see where that beat drops it's right over here so the way that you cut inside a cap cut is you want to highlight the clip and then you want to go up here towards this split and you can split the clip and then you can delete whatever side of the clip you don't want. So CapCut's great because it has the magnetic features inside the clip and they just kind of snap magnetically into place. So I bring it close to here to where I want it and it snaps into place exactly where we want it. So now that we have this clip in place, I'm gonna go ahead and extend it back all the way to the beginning of the video because I do want music playing at the beginning of the video as well. But I just wanted to make sure that where the beat drops that was right between these clips. So I made sure I cut it, lined it up, and then I extended it back. Now I'm actually gonna cut it again, right here between these clips. So I bring my playhead and I will split it. And that's because I am going to use the AI beat sync feature inside of the application to uh, find where the beats are on this second half of this clip. So I can go ahead and line up the footage and sync the footage with the beats perfectly. So what you wanna do here, with the audio clip selected, I'm gonna go up to AI, go ahead and select that, and it gives you two options. You have your beat two and your beat one. As you can see here, if I select beat two, these little yellow dots are where the beats are, but this is very fast. And for real estate, you really wanna cut slower so people have an opportunity to see the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select beat one. And as you can see here, these yellow dots, which represent beats in the song, are much more spaced out, which is gonna make for a much smoother video. Okay, so here's where most of the work is. Up until this point, we were just kind of setting this up. And remember from start to finish, it only takes you know a few minutes to actually edit these once you know what you're doing. Uh, but from here, what our main goal is, is to make sure that each clip starts and ends on a beat. And then I also like to make sure that each clip actually speed ramps out of one clip and then speed ramps into the next clip for most of the clips. I don't do it on all the clips, but I'll show you what I mean here. So what you wanna do here is you wanna select the clip. Then you wanna go here to the upper right hand side where it says speed, select speed. And then here where you see it say normal, you wanna go over to curve. And then you wanna select the flash out curve. So what this is gonna do is gonna make it so when we zoom into the house, we're at a, uh, just a regular one X speed. Okay, and then it's gonna speed up the five X as it goes into the next clip. What I like to do is I like to make it actually slow down further than one X all the way down to 50% or 0.5 speed. So all you gotta do here is you just drag down the curve to 0.5 here. 
and then this is actually going to come in as it zooms into the house at slow motion and then it's going to speed up here with the ramp and it's going to go to 5x as it speeds into the next clip and this here clip is a little bit of a longer clip so i think what i'm going to have it do is i'm going to have it actually extend over the course of two beats so two of these yellow dots and the way that we're going to do that is we are going to actually extend the amount of time that it's in slow motion so we're going to drag over these dots and that's going to actually extend the amount of time it's at 50 percent speed and then it's going to ramp up the 5x speed as it's hitting the dot right here as you can see it comes in it's going to be slow slow to about here and then it's going to speed up and then it's going to speed into the next clip so we want to create these hills where we're speeding up at the end of a clip and then we're slowing down as we go into the next clip so the next clip and we're actually going to select the bullet curve so again we're going up to speed we're going to curve and then we're going to select the bullet curve because this is going to have it come in fast slow down and it's going to leave fast and i'm going to do this on most of the clips i won't do this on all the clips but i'm going to do this on most of the clips an example of when i probably wouldn't use this is say we're going into an owner suite we might want to speed into the owner suite slow down show the owner suite but then when we're showing the things that are inside the suite like the master closet and the master bath I might just cut to those scenes without doing the speed ramp thing because I think it just looks a little bit better and it kind of separates that and kind of indicates to the person watching the video that this is all one room. So let me go ahead and uh, show you how to sync a couple more of these clips and then I'll just speed through it and do the rest of them. So this clip here is not quite long enough. We need it to extend all the way to this next beat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag this curve over so that the speed ramp is closer to the beginning and the end. And we're gonna extend the amount of time it's at 50% speed. This bullet curve here, it goes from 5X down to 50% automatically, and then back up to 5X. So as you can see here, I've actually extended this clip so it's actually a little bit longer than I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move my playhead to the beat, and then I'll go ahead and shrink the clip. I'm going to go ahead and use the bullet for the next few clips. And again, all I'm doing is I'm extending the amount of time that it's in slow motion or 0.5 by changing where these ramps are. And as I'm doing it, you can see that the clip is getting longer because it's slower for the majority of the clip. I'll get it about as close as I can. Go ahead and go to the next beat, put the playhead on that, and then make it perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do these for the rest of the clips. And as soon as I get to the owner suite, I'll show you what I would do in there. All right, here I am on the owner suite. As you can see, we're, we're speeding in, we're speeding at the end of this clip into the owner suite. We're showing off the owner suite, but then when we get to the next clip, which is a nice closet, I'm not gonna do that speed ramp thing. What I'm gonna do here for the closet and for the next clip is the owner's bath. And then it's another clip of the owner's bath. I'm just going to cut these to match the beat and I'm going to slow them down to 50%. So all you want to do is go over to normal now. So you select the clip and instead of selecting curve over here under speed, you're going to select normal. And then here you're going to drag this down to 0.5x or you can use this over here and you can type 0.5x or you can use these arrows to reach 0.5x. That's going to slow it down to 50% speed and it's going to make it nice and smooth. Okay, so then when we have it where we want it, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut the clip or drag the clip over to this next beat. So that way we know for sure that the clip is starting and ending on a beat. I'll do the same thing for this next clip. And then for the next clip, because it's still part of the owner's bath, but it's going to be going into the foyer area. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a curve. So I'll select this, go to curves, and I want it to flash out. So the same, uh, the same curve I used on that first clip when we entered the house, I'm going to use it here. So I'll go ahead and drag this down to 50%. And then this is at 5x, which is exactly where I want it. And I'll go ahead and extend the slow motion part out as long as I need it to be for this clip to be long enough to reach this next beat. And if for some reason the clip itself is too short, you can always 
slow it down just a hair more. Slow it down just a hair more, just enough to get that extension on the clip to where it's long enough to reach the next beat. And then on the last clip, I'll go ahead and I will just have it flash in and then slow down. So I'll use actually the flash in. So this, the length of it doesn't really matter anymore because this is the last clip in the video. But we'll make it flash in fast from the previous clip and then slow down and then the video will end. So the next thing we're gonna do now, we've done all the hard parts, is we're gonna add our transitions and our captions. So we'll start with our transition here as it goes from me talking to zooming into the house. I'm gonna go ahead and go to transitions and I'm gonna use the pull in, which is basically a zoom. Let's drop that between the clips. This is free inside of cap. There you go, it pulls in. And then at the end, what I'm gonna do is I like to use uh, effects. So you just go down to openings and closings and they have a bunch of effects here for, uh, you know, opening videos and closing videos. The ones that say pro are obviously part of the paid app. However, everything I use on here is free. So we're gonna use TV off. This is a free one. Let's drop this in at the end and then I'll shorten it up a little bit so that it only comes in at the very end of the clip. Right there. So we have all that done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to split the music right at the end just so it's the same length as the video itself all right from there we just have to add our captions we know on instagram and on tiktok people enjoy captions and inside of tiktok it does the captions automatically so i'll select the clip that has me talking and from there we'll go up to text from text we'll select auto captions we'll pick our language select create all right, so that only took a few seconds and it has created all the captions here, as you can see. And here is where we can go ahead and stylize our captions. So let's go back here. As you can see, these captions are very plain, very simple. Uh, but what I can do here is I can change the font. I can change the color. I can figure, you know, I can change uh, where the captions are, the scaling of the words. So I might make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select these ones because these ones pop i like these ones a lot go ahead and scale it to right about there and that's good so let's go ahead and watch them good news is the captions are there however the music's a little bit too loud so that's the next step here is we're going to go in and we are going to reduce the volume of the music where i'm talking so the way that we do that is for one let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see the waveform. The waveform that for my voice is here, right attached to the clip still because I never separated it. And we're going to go ahead and increase the decibel level on my voice. And then for the music, we're actually going to decrease it a little bit. And then on top of decreasing it, we're actually going to grab this little dot here and we're going to slide it over. What that's going to do is it's going to make the music fade in. So let's listen to it a little bit. Still very loud. Usually it's like negative 12 to negative 20 decibels on the music is where I like to have it be when I'm talking behind it. Staying owning a own build. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my voice a little bit more. Are you interested in owning a home built by one of them? Okay, so I'm actually gonna turn down the music in the video a hair too. It seemed like it was a little bit loud. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do here is I am gonna make the music fade out at the end. And the way I do that is I grab the dot here at the end, and then I just slide that over a little bit here. And that's just gonna make the music dip out a little. Now that the video is edited, the only thing you have to do is export. You can go up to the upper right hand side, select export. You can go ahead and name your video, select which folder you want the video in. Then you can go to resolution, select the resolution. I'll always select 4K and frame rate. Frame rate, I like to select 30 FPS and then just select export. And now the video is exporting to my hard drive. All right, so that's how you edit a video using the CapCut desktop app. Without further ado, here's the finished product. Are you interested in owning a home built by one of our premier local builders, Keyland Homes? Come check out this one story home in the Summerlin community of Woodbury. Let's go.
All right, thank you guys for checking out the video today. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in purchasing your own gimbal, I will leave a link to this gimbal in the description for you guys to pick up on Amazon. I really do appreciate you guys supporting the channel. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the subscribe button, share the video, like the video, do all the things. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.